Welcome one and all. This is the Peace Dealer and I hope you gain the utmost of quality from this transit degree video. Shout out to Sun Soul TV. Uh, always an honor to help usher in the next season and as we venture forward into uncharted territory, representative of the cosmos itself, we are ready to manifest greater knowledge. I want to say new knowledge, but our present is the past of the celestials, so nothing's ever really new under the sun, too. And uh, let's just call it greater. And yeah, this is representative of a good 200 plus year cycle that is getting ready to conclude in Capricorn in another five years before it enters Aqua. So be mindful of this upcoming season. There'll be a lot of sneak peeks looming in the distance. And what's manifesting is the colloquial combined effort of development when it comes to character and what power even really means because exacting cardinal focus is one thing but the knowledge derived from it is quite another and this Aquarius season is gonna allow us as we do every year to synthesize information gathered the past six months and come from what we exerted passionately from our hearts Leo to discern what we now, we now know. Um, it's interesting that Aquarius is I know, when a, more appropriately, it may be we know. But I like the I know connotation too. Regardless, this 30 degree Capricorn or zero degree Aquarius transit uh, coincides with very important aspects, one of which is 23 degrees conjunction of Saturn and Pluto in Cap, where my moon is 23 degrees, so uh, send me some healing prayers, love, I need it. Uh, we also have the moon that'll be conjunct Mars in Sagittarius, making a square to Venus, slowly creeping up on Neptune and Pisces, okay? Um, for those of you creep creeping, it may actually pay off this week unorthodox advice not encouraging it but hey some people be lurking um what's very important i didn't mean you i just meant like to any of you lurkers out there who might be lurking on this video um so if that is you but other than that this is not a coincidence that right when we're about to enact and activate a probably the most powerful balsamic phase we will have this year to start off the year. Our acquisition into this new season is initiating with a moon and lunar transit that is geared to change everything about your perception. I think we can safely say that this is the first moon and Sag transit that Jupiter wasn't in Sag, okay? Maybe you could have said that about this recent Cap season too, but being that Mars is here, I really want you to cherish this day because Moon, Mars, in Sag is the last bit of fire that we're gonna have for a long time next fire we have prominent other than venus and mercury that'll go through in the sun um is mars that's gonna retrograde in aries with chiron so we don't have any more prominent fire moon transits are too quick to count personal planets don't really purport for anything too significant as it's too relative according to the time and the outer planets have finished inspiring us we are headed into darkness, folks. And so the light of Mars and Moon and Sag will introduce meaning to you on this day 
that is going to change your entire perspective about everything you know. And this is where the Sagittarius and Pisces square bridge in newer realities, not new ultimately, but new to you, that will begin the process this Aquarius season to having you turn this into knowledge that can be later utilized. But the purpose of this aqua season is to manifest everything that was started in, in Capricorn. So Sagittarius, the new moon with Jupiter, ascended us to a new life. We manifested that into Capricorn by creating a new world that's transforming through this cycle and will be completed six months from now in Gemini and then in Cancer season where we go have that nodal eclipse. And so this Aquarius season is now because elements of our character are transformed and habits are destroyed or instilled, you're going to be making contacts and connects all season that purport a new collective or existing collectives that you bring new energy to, which is important because Venus has already traveled through Aquarius and ahead of you set forth the connections you're already going to make. Venus is so lit like that. So be very mindful. Your reputation precedes you. You may have to clear up some gossip and, and BS, but showing up with authenticity and truth, we'll do that. We're going to clear it up. But this is important because Aquarius season is manifesting this power up Capricorn season did, but it's also opening the door from Sagittarius season bringing form to your new life with a new way to think, with greater knowledge you utilize, and also with a higher perspective of celestial beings that rock with you, okay? So this isn't gonna be new for some of you because especially if you're Sun in Sag, Sun in Scorpio, Sun in Pisces and Aqua and Cap, you may have already been introduced to these beings. People who lack awareness or energy in these signs is gonna hit you like for the first time. And it's gonna be amazing. Mercury especially that will retrograde later in Pisces is leading the way forward to supplement this awareness with relevant knowledge. What makes it relevant is that it's keyed into what's happening currently. However, the reason why Aquarius season is going to be so supernatural is because of everything happening in its shadow with Pluto and Saturn in the 12th house. And so what I want you to see this transit as is an introduction to celestial beings. There's everything you've heard about celestial beings, but that was based off of an older paradigm that didn't include this mega conjunction with Saturn and Pluto completely destroying the old world and creating a new one. Because after the new earth is created, Pluto going to Aquarius and the angels will start being recalled to create the new heaven. Sky kingdoms are approaching. So keep this in mind because the introduction of higher order celestial beings and supreme overlords as it relates to who you may be connected to or are, because some of you are Aquarians watching this, you're a celestial. Some of you are Libras watching this, you're a celestial. Okay, so this whole notion, the reason why we're having to upgrade our physiological understanding of this is to prepare for the mental understanding when all this shifts into air. Okay, Pluto and Aqua, Uranus and Gemini, and this is starting to prepare for Saturn in Aquarius that will occur next year. It's going to come in a little this year, but really next year. And I, I really want this day to be an initial official introduction into celestial hood. Some people call it godhood, but god is really like a title, right? Kind of like celestial. I'm a god, I'm a goddess, is literally like saying, I'm a mister, I'm a missus. Okay, what do you mister, mister what? The god of what? Death, love, tears, farts. Like you're not saying, no one's saying anything when you say you're a god, it's just like an inflated sense of ego, right? Celestials, whole different story. Celestials are actual cosmic vibrations and entities and everyone has a celestial self. And so we couldn't do something like this, build and, and perceive this before Jupiter was in Sag, because you couldn't see him, or unless you have energy there. We couldn't do this when Pluto was in Sag because it wasn't real yet now that it is with Uranus and Taurus. And that's the very most important thing about this transit, the instant sextile to Chiron and Aries that will help buffer the shock 
with Uranus and Taurus. I did a, a Aquarius season reading and the underlying theme was the tower, okay? Um, really was the four of wands. But for romance, it was a tower and that's because of Uranus and also because of Mars, okay? So that square to Uranus is going to be funky and it's going to force you to really know what is grounded here in a different way. Thankfully, Moon and Sag will help you transform your perception because you're going to be seeing celestial beings. And the conjunction to Mars here will have you act off on this, squaring Neptune in ways that are weird to your conscious mind. Make all the sense possible to your soul. <coughs> Mars and Sag is passionate. Venus and Pisces is dreamy. None of these energies are stable. So if you're going retarded, Okay, if you're going fish tarted and in love, you're being a complete and total idiot, congratulations. This is not a bad thing. If Venus was like in Virgo and Mars in Cap, this would be horrible. Okay, but you almost want to be dumb in love, drunk in love, okay? Um, uh, 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 damn it. I, I can't think of another Beyonce song with in love, but. All the Beyonce songs in love. You want to be all of those, okay? She knew. She knows what she's talking about. Because this is all about the emotions evoked, the imagination, and the passion acted on. Yeah, you may make some incredibly stupid decisions. In fact, with these squares, totally expect to be catfished in some capacity. People will be appearing ways that they're really not in real life. But it can also help you achieve fantasies and, and visions that you would have never really thought you'd see. The main purpose of this though is to integrate your conscious evolution to prepare for you to now usher in partnership with your celestial being and with celestial beings. It's taking the whole notion of collecting with a community and then adding another community of celestials whereas you fully interact with people and their higher self. It's not just connecting with people anymore. It's seeing the different states that people shift into and out of, whether they're conscious or unconscious of it. It's pretty fun, not gonna lie. By the time we get to the end of Aquarius season, this introduction will be finished, and this will prepare for next year Aquarius season, where everything, this Aquarius season is an orientation to Celestials. Next year when Jupiter and Saturn start in Aquarius, it's okay, you were, you were introduced to us, now we're in your life, in your life, okay? So as they are introduced, they will be in our life because they've always been in our life because they're an aspect of you or <laughs> you're an aspect of them. You are an aspect of the universe. And this is what's really gonna be amazing because everything you've downloaded and uploaded rather in Capricorn is gonna come online in Aquarius. Aquarius is coming back, baby. Shout out to the Aquarians. They're coming back. They took a breather for a few decades. Now they're coming back. And no, no, nobody's gonna know what to do with them. It's gonna be extraordinary and amazing. So be very receptive to the visions you receive. Don't expect them to make sense. We don't have any Gemini. We don't have any Virgo. So this is just about receiving it, seeing it. Later synthesis will come. And because it's sextiling Aquarian energy, this will help you speak a star language and light language unique to you. Today is really all about really considering and contemplating what existence means to you, what the cosmos means to you, and who is your celestial self? Do you know? You will. And this is where I'm going to read the inside degree for today. Capricorn 30, blue morning glories growing up a tall trellis, heightened ability to bring the greater self into action, the towering presence of the one who knows informing each moment, a huge and formidable destiny dedication to bring all of yourself through into this world, a steadfast, adamant quality of soul, the prenatal resolve to work out all remaining karmas and be free. Intensive focus upon soul evolution, purpose, will. You have something to grow into throughout your life. Ancient ways, unfallen heights, seeing through, staggered by what you have taken on, ripening on the vine, under massive pressure from within. The path and journey of ascension, with the body honored and the world renewed, 
Awakening and tapping the source for endeavors, projects, and tasks requires top-level clearance and the truest endowment of inward faculties to see them through and light up the world. So a lot of this energy is not online yet, but it's coming there. So this orientation is gonna hit weird because some of you are gonna be responding physiologically and reacting to energy that's not mainstream and will make you look weird as hell. But you have to embrace Chiron and Aries that will move forward unapologetically anyway. Don't be afraid to look like a total idiot. You're not being a total idiot. A lot of this energy with the initial degrees of, of planets in these signs are having you be a pioneer to stretch out new neural pathways and new ways of being and you just can't be too prioritized on your image and how you look because you're going to miss out on developing what needs to be developed through this and once again the 12th house aspect to this aqua energy is what's going to kill all insecurity kill all inhibition unfortunately there's still some very like brain dead stupid people in this world who like judge others for no reason the whole act of judging is not bad but like name calling judging others reflecting your insecurities and projecting them towards others because they trigger that within you um it's it's disgusting it's stupid and it's everything that's going to begin to be exposed more so but the best part of this is you're going to realize more how much less it really affects you in light of this greater conscious development that is occurring and that will initiate today and this is where with the current that comes with the sextile to Chiron in Aries, it's like very empowering, okay? Because you're not really even being weird. This difference is just adjusting. Things don't happen in a day, so you're adjusting to a different way of being that's a greater way of being. And for example, I never used to think I was weird for doing astrology, even though other people made it out that way. Um, but yeah, I def when I first started doing this, I did still kind of feel that stigma, like, you know, oh, what is this dude doing? And I still, feel, I still get it. I'm not na that naive. But from the get-go, I always knew that what I was doing was bigger than myself. I knew it was way greater than most people can perceive. And the chance of like, this is no different. Don't allow yourself to stop while you're still building for, for people around you who don't understand, for people who are far away from you who don't understand. This vision that you're going to align with and will connect with this aqua energy is going to be part of a new seed leading into the new moon at the end of the week that will really establish ventures that will set you for life because it's not what you know it's what you know and who you know okay yo and until next time y'all stay blessed as always peace